Welcome to Pharmacomania. Today's topic is fixed dose combination. Fixed dose combination is the combination of two or more drugs in fixed dose ratio in single pharmaceutical formulation. Some examples of WHO approved fixed dose combination are levodopa and carbidopa for the Parkinsonism, isoniazide, rifampicin, pyrazinamide, and ethambutol for tuberculosis, ferrous sulfate plus folic acid for anemia of pregnancy, uh, sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprime in the cotrimoxazole as antimicrobial agent, amoxicillin and clavulinic acid as antimicrobial agent, estrogen and progesterone combination for oral contraceptive pills. Some rules of the fixed dose combinations are if the two drugs are combined in single pharmaceutical formulation, the ratio of the doses of each component in such a formulation depend on the plasma half-life, apparent volume of distribution and peak plasma concentration of the each drug should be similar. Example, examples are the in case of cotrimoxazole is the combination of trimethoprime and sulfamethoxazole. The half-life of trimethoprime is 10 hour and sulfamethoxazole is 11 hour are almost identical. For the synergistic, the optimal ratio of the minimal minimum inhibitor concentration is 1 is to 20 if these drugs are given independently in vitro. But the volume, apparent volume of distribution of the trimethoprime is 1 to 2 liter per kg is 5 to 6 times higher than the sulfamethoxazole which is the 0.2 liter per kg. It is widely distributed and attain lower plasma concentration than the sulfamethoxazole. Hence, if the trimethoprime is mixed with the sulfamethoxazole, so ratio should be 5 is to 20. It is uh, 1 is to 4. The dose should be dose ratio should be 1 is to 4. The peak plasma concentration should be mimic the ratio of 1 is to 20 which is optimal for the synergistic in vitro. To avoid development of resistance, the, trimetho, the drugs trimethoprime and sulfamethoxazole is kept slightly higher 1 is to 5 than the normal ratio of the 1 is to 4. So what are the advantages of the fixed dose combination? Fixed dose combination is the convenient to take by patient and better compliance will be there. It enhances the effect of combination both trimethoprime and sulfamethoxazole individual are bacteriostatic but in combination they are bacteriostatic. Minimization of the side effect like combination of levodopa and carbidopa not only reduces the doses requirement of the levodopa but minimize the peripheral side effect due to uh, dopamine by preventing the metabolic degradation of the levodopa peripherally by decarboxylase enzyme. So increase the penetration of the levodopa in brain and decrease the peripheral side effect. What are the disadvantages of FTC? FTC uh, is the dose of uh, any component uh, drug cannot be adjusted independently. If the pharmacokinetic characteristic of the two drugs do not match, there would be the unacceptable range of the fluctuation in plasma concentration of the uh, component of the drug at steady state. If the com, uh, become, it becomes difficult to identify one particular drug which is causing a harmful or beneficial effect. For example, the patient uh, positive response to a particular anemia like iron deficiency anemia or megaloblastic anemia with the neurological deficit due to B12 deficiency or megaloblastic anemia due to folate deficiency cannot be ascertained from the fixed dose combination in iron or vitamin B12 or folic acid deficiency. Thank you for watching the video.